they have the best friendships <laughs> ever. You know, who wants to And you to know what, bullied? I think... I believe you would say taking the mickey out of it. Yes. Um, I'm going to take the mickey out of uh, bullies. See, the thing with bullies is, chances are, they are the type of people that simply feel the need to bash other people around, whether it be verbally or physically or in some way, because that's the only way they can feel superior, because they, their lives are so crappy, that's the only way they can feel better about themselves. Mm-hmm. So in actuality, bullies are pathetic. Pretty much. They are pathetic, sad human beings that probably just need a hug. I wouldn't suggest hugging them, though. No, no. <laughs> I would suggest um, getting them expelled or sent to prison for bullying. Well, depending on the type of bullying. I mean, everyone gets bullied, but when it gets this bad... Mm-hmm. You know, and everybody's got a million reasons to be here. You know, Definitely. That, that's the one thing that people start to forget when they start thinking suicidal thoughts. Is, you know, you have a reason to be here, damn it. Don't deprive the world of your presence. You know? I mean, he, Jamie Rodemeyer, that's his name. <laughs> yes, yes. We're very sorry about that, the people that left us comments on comments on that particular show. Joe, what is it? Um, Rodemeyer. Young Jamie Miss- Rodemeyer. Jamie Rodemeyer, there we go. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not trying to uh, skip old news and all that, but I, uh, I just really have a bad memory. But, I mean, it's kids like that, and, you know, each time that you can push through those thoughts, and even if it's not related to bullying... Each time that you push through those thoughts, you're helping the bad people lose and the good people win. You are keeping memories like Jamie Rodemeyer alive. Mm-hmm. You are standing up and fighting for those that just didn't – how to say this? I don't want to say it improperly – that just couldn't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. The ones that thought that – you know, there weren't any reasons for them to matter. You know, we've we've got to show them that they matter. Exactly. Even if they're not here anymore. So, okay. Now we've done our big serious thing for the week. You know. Ish. Ish. Yeah, we're we're behind you, Jonah. So, you know. That's Definitely. cool. Definitely. That's cool. But we need to move on to something that makes my blood boil. Yay, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Not that we planned it or anything. I mean, I'm psychic. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. we do uh, host a uh, paranormal radio show, you know? Yeah, you know, it might have been all the pre-planning. But no, um, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my land trim now PQRN looks- cares. Yes. Um, yeah, so my land trim looks like a Christmas fairy bathed. <laughs> I have a giant Santa sitting next to my tree, and it squeaks. Which is creepy. Yes, I, I just showed Jackie before, yeah. It's creepy. It is creepy. And conveniently placed behind the tree. Now, she says it's because it's, it's to keep it out of the way. I personally think it's because it creeps her out. Well, I can tell you, if I walk out to the land room the morning that we play this, so Saturday morning, and that thing friggin' moves at me, it's getting a pen in the eye. <laughs> you know, no way, Jose, would that thing live if it moved. <laughs> you know, oh. I've been contemplating you know- on Facebook all week that I'm going to strap cat biscuits to its rear end so the cats will take care of it for me. Feed it to the fishes. <laughs> or the kitties. Mm. That doesn't sound very mafia-like, does it? Meow. <laughs> Feed it to the kitty dog, cute little kitties. <laughs> Have you seen how evil cats get? Have you seen how evil the mafia gets? Not up close and personal, no. Well, that's because the... Shh, 
the mafia doesn't exist. Shh. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> how, how are you finding your Christmas so far? Well, it's like seven, eight, nine. It's December ninth, and <laughs> it's just there's already talk of when people are going to have Christmas, and I'm like, okay, couldn't we wait? A little while, and then of course there's the lack of funding, and then of course the thing that happens every year: the war on Christmas. Mm, which house are we going to, and who says the biggest thing out of place ever? Well, there's that war, but I was referring to people are trying to take Christ out of Christmas and blah blah blah, and replace it with Happy Holidays and blah blah blah. Is it really necessary? Well, I don't know. Maybe we need to invent a word that don't insult the Jews, the Muslims, um, the pagans, the Christians. I can't think of any other ones. Maybe Buddhism. You know, maybe we just need to come up with a conglomerate word that means Christmas, but it isn't Christmas. Happy Chris Mahana Kwanzaa Yuletide Ding. Ness. Per se. <laughs> per se. <laughs> but I mean, okay, number one, interesting little fact for you the word um, holiday actually means holy day. So the fact that people are getting insulted, like, no offense to the Christians out there. I know there are some good ones out there. There are genuinely good people out there. But the Christians are getting upset over replacing Merry Christmas with Happy Holy Day. Um, mm -hmm. mm. Not yeah. to mention, if someone says season's greetings or Happy Holidays to you, all you have to do is turn around and say Merry Christmas. Easy solution not that big of a deal. It's not a flippin' war. Everyone, please pull your head out of your own ass and stop with the drama already. Do you get this in Australia, or is it just here? Uh, we get it here. Uh, we had one class in one school in one very small town in Queensland, and the teacher decided they weren't going to call it Secret Santa, which is basically a Pollyanna to those who don't call it Secret Santa. They were going to call it Secret Friend. <coughs> Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. But and sounds know. a lot dirtier. Yeah. <coughs> but, you know, the only things that I could ever enjoy about the Nazis coming in and killing Christmas is getting rid of the goddamn Christmas carols out of the shopping centres because the amount of times I've caught myself humming we wish you a Merry Christmas while I'm walking through the grocery store, you know, it makes me want to stab a pencil in my eye or something because you're just like, <laughs> oh, my God, not again. Well, and you know, I guess we can't really complain that much because we've gotten used to it since, like, before Thanksgiving was over, so... Mm -hmm. I think they started our Christmas Isle music about midway through October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've even, like, I'm I'm the biggest Scrooge at my local grocery store. I hate it. They have an entire aisle, which probably isn't much considering you guys have actual stores dedicated to it. But... They have their music up so loud. Like, I'm like six aisles away, and I can hear Mariah Carey going crazy in the Christmas aisle. <laughs> I actually passed someone who was stacking shelves and said, Do you think there's anything you can do about that music? It's just a little loud. And you could hear it the moment we walked out of the store, they turned it back up. <laughs> Either that or the person just looked at you and said, Huh? What? Well, that's pretty much what it was like. It was loud. Oy. But, you know, the other thing I'm going to enjoy when the Nazis, or well, not the Nazis, but, you know, the really freaking anal people get rid of Christmas will be the IQ level of people won't drop as far in December. 